today I am filming a holiday haul. I'm off to Bali tomorrow, actually, real time. I'm uh, gonna have to edit and upload this tonight because I leave tomorrow morning. And I did a big ASOS order on yesterday. I've not been very prepared, okay? I've got a pile of summery clothes here that I've recently bought, a few little like beauty bits. So I thought I would share them with you guys and give you an idea of what I'm gonna be wearing on my trip. So let's get into it. Okay, so the first couple of bits I got from Misguided. So the first thing I love, and it is this top. It is just a simple kind of boxy fit vest crop top. It has poppers all along the front. So you can wear like a pretty bra and have it unpopped or you can pop it up if you don't want to have your boobs out. And it's like a nice level of crop. This is so, so flattering. You'll definitely be seeing me wearing this um, on my Instagram because I'm going to be posting a lot on my Instagram while I'm there, hopefully. There is limited Wi-Fi in some places, but some places I'm okay. So hopefully you'll be seeing loads of photos. But I absolutely love this. I'm sorry this isn't a try on haul. I just don't have time to, <laughs> to do it today. The other thing from Misguided I bought was a pierced cap. Now on the model on the website it looked really cool, but now it's arrived, I'm like, mm. I don't mind the piercing bit, but it's just the shape of the hat, it's just quite flat, do you know what I mean, like it's just a bit flat, I don't really like the shape of it, it looks like Daffy Duck's beak to me, it's a bit weird. Okay, next I got a few basics off of Boohoo, so I'm really happy with everything I got from Boohoo actually, um, I bought two pairs of like fabric jersey shorts the first ones i got are this tan color which i thought would look nice with a tan i think these are going to be really light and cool and will go with loads of my tops and i think they're really nice and then i also bought another pair of jersey shorts but i got them in this stripe which i thought would be a little bit dressier for the evening but also really casual so if i wanted to put like a slightly nicer top on i feel like i could get away with wearing this to like dinner or something again being really cool and comfy elasticated i bought both of these in a size 14 and yeah i'm really happy with those i really really like them they're so 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 soft as well and then the other two bits i got from boohoo again are very basic but I got two little jersey dresses. This first one is just a white shift dress with like a v-neck and a low back and it just hangs really really nicely. It's got spaghetti straps, it's really soft but it's heavy so I won't feel like it's gonna blow up if it's windy or anything like that. I feel comfortable kind of walking around in this not just going to the beach because it is quite weighted at the bottom and just hangs really nicely so I love this and again I got this in a size 12 so I then got a similar one with a similar kind of like soft v-neck and the low back obviously this one's khaki green but it is also a handkerchief bottom so it's just something a bit different it's quite bohemian I think it'd be nice with some like brown sandals and just like loads of jewelry and just super super chilled and simple good for evenings and again day to day so really happy with those two and they're just so soft like the fabric on all of these from boohoo have been really nice so I'm very impressed with them obviously as always everything is linked down below hopefully if I don't run out of time the rest is from ASOS so I bought three new bikinis I'm really gutted I wanted the jaded banana palm leaf um, bikini but it's just always sold out and whenever I go online it's just like in stock in one size that isn't my size and it's so frustrating so I didn't manage to pick that one up which I really wanted the other one from jaded that I was really excited about was their tie-dye bikini so I thought I'd get something a little bit more fun imagine this at a pool party like just imagine it some really high leg high-waisted tie-dye bikini bottoms um in like super obnoxious bright print i just think at a pool party this would look awesome with that white dress on top just like with a statement bikini underneath i think that would look really cool so i got this this is the bottom and then the top i liked because it's a bit different it's a um halter neck top i feel like again for like pool parties and things like that it would be good because i won't have to worry about my boobs falling out which is often a issue i'll probably wear this on one of the last days because i do not want tan lines like this so we shall see the next one i got is quite cutesy and girly again it's halter neck which i forgot i got a halter neck bikini it's this white frilled crochet bikini so i don't know if you can see it it might be a bit washed out on the camera 
but it's got a crochet white overlay on it and then the top has little like lacy frills and then the top is just the same halter neck open at the back with the frills coming all the way around white bikinis look so nice once you have a bit of a tan, so I'm really excited to wear that one. This last one, I love because, I don't know, this one, this last one is a little bit more kind of athletic, but in like a cool kind of way. It's a bit more edgy. So this is what the bottoms look like. It's navy blue with yellow and kind of greyish um, geometric little shapes on it. Again, obviously high-waisted. I feel like these are gonna be so flattering because it's got this black waistband that I think will really cinch in at the waist. And then the top is just like a soft, no underwire, triangle bikini top. It does up at the back like a bra, but this I can't wait to wear. I think this will be so comfy and probably the one that I wear to go like snorkeling and stuff just because I think it's going to be quite secure. <laughs> okay, another basic that I picked up is obviously from ASOS and, oh god, they're all tangled up. Eh. I picked up a two pack of these super lightweight little cropped vests. They literally will fit in my shoe so they'll be really light to pack really easy to just throw on with either of those pairs of shorts with a maxi dress maxi skirt anything like that so i picked up a white one and then also a black one so these are really really light and small and thin so easy to pack easy to throw on easy okay next i picked up a pair of shorts um i wanted the full cord but bando isn't very flattering on me and this comes with a bando top but i loved the shorts they look like this they're like a moby pink and white tie-dye with a really long like tassely tie at the front and you can actually tighten these really really well because these look quite big but i feel like i'll be able to cinch them in at the waist and what i like is they're quite long and floaty so they cover your thighs so i love these um i think this is going to look nice with so many tops just those basic floaty ones these are kind of a statement enough um i love them so so much they're so friggin cool okay the last clothing item i basically completely stole this idea from desi perkins so the other day i tweeted like oh my god desi's Coachella day two outfit is perfect because she was wearing this skirt and I saw it and I just fell in love with her outfit so it looks kind of horrendous off but on it looks amazing especially with a bit of a tan so it's this silky material cinched in at the waist so it's it's stretchy but like holds you in it's a maxi with huge slits all the way up to like your um, upper thigh and I just thought this was the most cool kind of festival piece I'm not going to any festivals this year which I'm so gutted about but I feel like next time I go to a festival I'll probably crack this out on to some accessories I picked up a new pair of sunnies because I'm kindly being sent a pair of sunnies from Ray-Ban but unfortunately they aren't going to arrive in time so I kind of panicked and went and bought myself some and I'm kind of in love with these because I've wanted them since last summer and I refrained because I bought a pair of oh they're from Keith they're from Keith bought a pair of keys last summer and I was gonna buy these as well but I stopped myself so I've managed to wait an entire year and I thought I've been good I still want them a year later so I bought them I really wanted some big frames so I went for these giant kind of flat aviators with the pink gold reflex and I just think these look coolest sunglasses I love them I've wanted these for so so long everything looks blue when you look through them but they look pink on the when you look at them so these are my sunnies of the year um I'm getting the Ray-Ban um what's it called the hexagon ones um the lilac lensed reflex hex hexagonal rectangle ones um, and I really wanted them for Bali, but they aren't gonna come in time. I picked up a new anklet, because I've worn an anklet every day for probably about five years, I think since GCSE summer, and I still have the same one on. But one of my anklets has snapped, unfortunately, so I thought I'd buy a new one to layer up. So this is the um, Design B London Charm anklet, and it's just a simple kind of floral-ish beaded anklet. I wanted a new one. 
picked up a new one. I love anklets. I think they just make such a nice, just add something to your outfit in a really simple way. So picked up a new one. So we're going to be walking around temples and going on day trips and going on hikes and stuff like that. So I wanted a bum bag. So I picked up a cool bum bag. It looks like this. So it's like a camely brown su suede -y fabric with this um, stitch pattern along the top. Unfortunately, it doesn't go around my waist where I wanted to wear it. It has to go over my hips because it's a bit too big to go around my waist. I wanted to wear it with my high-waisted skirts um, as a like as a belt almost, but unfortunately it doesn't fit me there. It's a really good size, big enough for like my passport, my vlog camera, my phone, um, some money, a card, and like a mini sun cream. I think it's perfect size, so really excited about this. I then picked up a pair of shoes because I realised I'm quite lacking in the summer shoe department. I picked up some super, super simple sandals, something that goes really flat and I can pack really easily and I wanted something with ties around the ankle because I just think that looks cool. I don't really like things going between my toes, so it's an open um, sandal, like open toe I guess it is, in this nice tan shade. I got them in a size 6 because in on ASOS I'm a 6 whereas elsewhere I'm a 7 so I don't really know why that is but and then finally from ASOS I picked up my baby in baby size. I got a mini of my Way texturizing hairspray because I honestly can't be without this. I use it every single day um, so I thought I'd get a little baby one to take away with me. So ladies and gents, that is everything I've picked up for Bali. I'm nervous because I've got a lot I need to get done before I go. Um, hopefully my channel will be smooth sailing. Um, I'm really sorry if there's not like obviously loads of replying to comments and stuff because I'm gonna have limited Wi-Fi. Um, and also I'm, we're going to um, like a secluded island basically with no Wi-Fi so I'm gonna be cut off completely from you guys for three or four days. I think that'll be quite nice actually, but also that gives me a bit of anxiety. But I hope you guys enjoyed seeing what I got and I hope you enjoy all the videos coming while I'm away. I don't even know when this video is going up. When am I uploading this? So this is going up on Wednesday for me. So I went to Bali on Monday for you. I hope you have the best day. All of the items I've talked about are linked down below as always. And I will see you guys in my next video, but I'll actually see you when I get home from Bali. But I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye!